Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to answer matching heading questions. This can be one of the most challenging type of questions in the IELTS reading test. But by the end of the video, you'll have a good understanding of them and a proven strategy for answering them. Here's what we'll be covering. The aim of this question type, common problems, key tips, two strategies for answering matching heading questions and an example from a real test paper. The aim of matching heading questions is to test if you are able to understand the main idea of each paragraph. So, you don't need to understand any detail about the subject covered by the text, just the main point covered in each paragraph. There are two possible strategies for answering these questions. One, read the text first, then the headings. And two, read the headings first, then the text. Some teachers will tell you to always read the text before you look at the headings, while others say you should definitely read the headings first. Personally, I think the first strategy, text first, then headings, is the easiest. However, my advice is to try both when you're practicing to see which one works best for you. Different people process information in different ways, so one method may suit you better than the other. Either way, if a matching headings question does come up for one of the tests in your test, do it first. By doing so, you'll already understand the main ideas of the text by the time you get to the other questions. This will save you a lot of time. Before we look at the two strategies in detail, I want to quickly highlight the main problems students encounter with this type of question. You'll learn how to overcome them in the rest of the video. There are five main challenges with matching headings questions. One, there are more headings than paragraphs. This makes it harder to narrow down the correct ones. Two, some headings will be very similar in meaning. Three, it's easy to confuse specific details in a paragraph with the main idea. They may be different. Four, synonyms and paraphrasing will often be used. And five, it's easy to spend too much time on this type of question. Now for two important tips. First, cross out each heading in the test booklet as you match it to a paragraph. This will eliminate it from further consideration as you move on to other paragraphs. Second, work through the paragraphs in order but move on if you're struggling to find the matching heading to a particular paragraph. Come back to it once you've eliminated more headings and have fewer to choose between. So let's look at the two strategies in detail. Strategy one, read the text first, then the headings. Start by reading the instructions carefully. It's vital that you understand what you have to do. Here's an example of how the instructions will be set out, taken from a real IELTS reading paper. The headings are in the middle of the instructions, but remember, for this strategy, don't read them yet. There will sometimes be a sample answer for illustration. In this case, it's the answer to section E. Knowing this answer means that you can immediately cross out heading six in the heading list and eliminate it from further consideration. Next, read the first paragraph. Your aim is to identify the main idea. Focus on the first one or two sentences and the last sentence, as these will usually introduce and summarize this main idea. Skim read the rest of the text in the paragraph. You don't need to know the detail for this type of question. Note that occasionally a section will contain more than one paragraph. In this case, you'll need to find the main idea in each paragraph. Now, briefly sum up the main idea of the paragraph in your own words, as if you were writing your own heading. Do it in just a few words or a short phrase at the most, and write this beside it. Now it's time to read the list of headings. As you do so, Try to match your summary of the first paragraph 
to one of the headings. Make sure that you read them all carefully and don't just select the first one that seems to match as there may be two that are very similar in meaning. This is quite common. Look out for key words as clues but also synonyms as these are very likely to be used. Let's practice the steps so far. Here's the first paragraph of our sample text. I've underlined the first and last sentences to highlight them for you. Read them in detail, then skim read the rest of the paragraph. Try to summarise the main idea in your own words. Pause the video while you do this. When you've finished, you'll be ready to read the headings and find the correct match. Here are the nine headings. Pause the video again while you decide which of them matches the paragraph on the last slide. You probably want to look back at it to check. When you're ready, we'll move on to the next slide for the answer. This heading is quite easy to match, as the main idea is made clear in the very first sentence, often called the topic sentence. The answer is heading 5, Government and Management of the Environment. Did you get it right? If you didn't, go back and study the paragraph again and see if you can work out why it's the correct match. Now you just need to repeat this process for the other sections of the text. If you get stuck on a particular paragraph, move on and come back to it when you've matched more headings and crossed them off the list. It will be easier to find the one you're struggling with when there are fewer headings to choose from. Here are two more tips to help you. When you have two very similar headings and can't decide which is the right one, write them out one under the other to help you focus in on the difference between them. Also, once you've matched a heading, cross through it in pencil to eliminate it from further consideration. Now for strategy two. Read the headings first, then the text. First read the full instructions, including the headings, then focus in on the headings. Read each carefully and try to understand what it means. Remember, each will summarise the main idea of the paragraph it matches. Also, remember that there will be more headings than paragraphs, so you won't need them all. Next, underline key words in the headings. If a heading contains names, numbers, dates or place names, underline these to identify them as key words that should be easy to spot in the text. Or there may be a key noun that stands out. It could be a one that occurs in more than one heading. Doing this will help you match information in the text and the headings as you read each paragraph. Here are the instructions and headings of our sample text for Strategy 2. Again, the question is taken from a real IELTS reading paper. From the headings alone, you can get a pretty good idea of what the text is going to be about. Have a go at the first two steps I've just shown you, trying to understand what the headings mean and choosing key words in the headings. There will often be two headings with a similar meaning, which can make it difficult to decide which is the correct match. If you do spot two similar headings, make a note of this. It will remind you to look at them both closely when you think one of them is the match. Now read the first section of the text. Your aim is to identify the main idea. As in strategy one, focus on the first one or two sentences and the last sentence as these will usually introduce and summarise this idea. Skim read the rest of the text. Look out for any key words you underlined in the heading, but be aware that synonyms could be used instead. If the section contains more than one paragraph, you'll need to find the main idea in each paragraph. Now that you understand the main idea of the first paragraph, go back to the headings and select the best match. Where you have two possible headings, write them out one under the other to help you focus in on the difference between them. Once you've made your decision and filled in your answer, cross through the heading in pencil to eliminate it from further consideration. 
as I mentioned in the tips above. If you're struggling to find the correct heading, move on and come back to it once you've eliminated more headings and have fewer to choose between. Now repeat these steps for each section of the text to find the remaining answers. It's time to practice this strategy with one of the sections from the sample test paper. Here's the section and the headings again. Can you match the right heading? As I suggest in the strategy, focus on the first two sentences and the last one. I've underlined them for you. Then skim read the rest of the paragraph. Pause the video while you do this. When you're ready, move on to the next slide for the answer. The correct answer is heading 8, the possibility of attracting the wrong kind of student. If you didn't get this, study the paragraph again and see if you can work out why it's the correct match. The more you practice matching heading questions, the easier they'll get. Choose the strategy that you find works best for you and stick to it. You'll find two more sample matching heading questions on my website, ieltsjackie.com. For both of them, I give full step-by-step -step instructions for answering the whole question. I've put links to them in the notes below this video. There's lots to learn from them and the opportunity for more practice. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to giving you more help with your reading test soon.